Welcome back graduates. It's been a hot minute. So I uh, just wanted to show you a new feature that we have. It's called, it is actually uh, the split menu option on our theme. So what that looks like on our demo is <clears throat> you'll have the navigation here and then you have the split uh, navigation as well on the other side. Uh, so <clears throat> I'll show you what that looks like and how to configure that. Um, but it does work really well. And then for mobile, it uh, just acts the same. So when you go to the um, mobile device, mobile like, like so, you'll click on the hamburger and it just uh, <clears throat> uh, reacts the same for a mobile, but for desktop, you can have a split option menu. So to do this, what you're going to want to do is go into the uh, theme right over here and this is going to be on Ecomify 3.3 and moving forward. This is now this is not in any other version except 3.3 and moving forward. Uh, so uh, going into here, uh, you, you're going to want to set up. It's pretty simple just the way that you've done your uh, your navigation before. But uh, we do have a way to split the menu now and we did it in a pretty easy way for you guys. Uh, so what you're going to want to do is going to go into the navigation, choose any menu that you want. So we're choosing the main menu right now. And you'll start seeing that everything reflects uh, home, shop, extra features, pages, um, and then once and and the same. The same logic goes with the uh, child, parent, and uh, grandchild where it's nested like this. So keep that the same. But wherever you want the uh, the the split, you're going to add a character pipe. So when I click on edit, it's going to be a character pipe and then a pound sign. So it doesn't lead to anything. Um, so in the theme, this, uh, this already uh, is calling, hey, wherever there's a character pipe, um, uh, please add that space. And then also um, then separate it with the other uh, menus uh, like so. Um, unfortunately, you can't keep in note. You can't have two character pipes. Um, you can only have one character pipe because it then uh, calls for that logo. So when you have this uh, uh, set up like this, you can also have the option for the other side to be a drop down as well. And this will just split uh, this will only just split the menu like so. Uh, so if you go into the online store, uh, going to customize right here. And then once it loads, you're going to the uh, nav bar here. You'll see that there are uh, very similar uh, settings here. So you have the logo, you have the logo for a desktop as well. And then for uh, mobile, you have the mobile menu. We don't need to uh, touch any of that. Uh, but for the desktop menu, we're going to select main menu because that's the one that we have in our navigation that we set. And then uh, we do have still the trigger option, heading size and font size as well. So when you're looking at this, the only thing um, you're going to actually need to do is if you don't want that, if you don't want it to be split, uh, it's going to look like this. We'll go back in uh, into the navigation here and we will remove this so you can kind of see uh, what that will look like. Uh, save, give uh, Shopify a bit to update um, and Shopify has been taking a little bit of a long time. So we're just going to ins inspect this and we're going to hold this down, do a hard refresh. And it still has not populated for some reason. So we're just going to go to a different page now. Now looking at this, you'll see that the uh, navigation uh, there's a lot there's a lot on the left side and the logo is on the um, the logos in the center. So what we're going to do is go into here, refresh. Um, it's not broken. Um, so when you have a lot on the left and nothing on the right and um, you want the split, that's where you add the character pipe. But right over here, um, this does look wonky. So you're going to go into the navigation and you and then what you're going to want to do is uh, scroll down here. You do have the option then to uh, have logo on the left or logo on the center. So it's going to be right here on desktop. Make sure that you're seeing for mobile or for desktop. So right here and then <clears throat> it'll look like this um, for regular for full screens. Uh, Taking consideration though that when you're on here, I'm on the large screen monitor. So it it, it looks like this when I'm working when I'm on my uh, work board. But when I do full screen, it'll look like this. So that looks really good. So uh, there's a couple steps again uh, when you do want the mobile uh, when you do want the desktop to have the logo in the center and split nav you're going to choose over here um, the logo center 
right here and then you're going to go into the navigation here and you and you can split that menu uh, so again we'll just go here add that awesome awesome character pipe and the pound sign and we're just going to choose and we're going to uh, make and we're going to then click the six dots and drag it in between the six uh, the three here just like so i'm going to click save and then and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to do logo center and i'm going to refresh uh always always refresh and save don't forget to refresh and save i'm gonna keep that here and i'm just gonna uh preview this and let's see and there we go so now we have the split menus and uh and that is how to configure the new uh split menu on the uh, desktop navigation thank you